Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a Sephora haul for you guys. I went to Sephora yesterday and I bought a few things that were still on my wish list, so I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. I did also quickly try them out today, so I can sort of give you like a mini review on them. But if you are new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload beauty videos three times a week and I would love it if you subscribed. But for now, if you want to see which products I got from Sephora, then please keep watching. Now I'm going to start with the biggest disappointment of my Sephora trip and you're not going to believe it but I got a used product again. This is the second time in a few weeks this has happened to me at Sephora. So a while back I posted another Sephora haul. I placed an order online at Sephora France and I actually received a used Rare Beauty highlighter. You can tell when something is opened because usually like the inside is clean. But when you take out the dough food of like a liquid product, there is going to be product around the edges. So when you open it for the first time, it should be clean. Because when there's product on the edges, the dough food has most likely been taken out and that's why there was product. So my Raw Beauty highlighter came like all covered in product on the edges. So I knew clearly it had been used. I was able to return that product and I got my money back. So that's nice. I didn't like waste any money on that. But yesterday I actually bought this Tartlet Tubing Mascara, which I was so excited to try this out. I think I mentioned this in like a will I buy it video sometime that I was just like so excited to try this mascara. So yesterday at Sephora I did just buy the mini size of this. So this is their turtle tubing mascara but when I wanted to use this today it had been used and how I was able to tell is there were actually eyelashes attached to the wand of this mascara which they don't just get there. I think this was definitely a return. Someone probably tried this and then didn't like it maybe and brought it back to store. They probably didn't check it correctly and put it back in store. That is what I'm assuming has happened, but I obviously can't know for sure. But since there were eyelashes in here, I know like 99% sure it has been used, which I'm really sad by because really mascara, I don't want to use a used mascara. I've gotten an eye infection before from using a tester mascara in store. Like I used a separate one, but someone probably didn't and I got an eye infection. So with mascaras, I don't want to use a used mascara and I don't live near Sephora. I don't go to Sephora a lot of times. There's no Sephora where I live here in the Netherlands, so we have to like drive to Germany to go to the Sephora, which I don't do very often, so unfortunately I'm not able to return this. I am just going to contact their customer service online, but they're probably going to say the online shop is like separate from like the in-store shops, which I do get, but I'm assuming I'm not able to get my money back unless I return this in-store, which I'm not going to drive all the way to Germany to return a 14 euro mascara. That's just way too expensive, so I think I kind of wasted my money on this to be honest I'm kind of sad about it because I was really excited to try this now I did something that probably wasn't very responsible but I actually applied this to my lashes even though it was used I was like let me just quickly apply it see what it looks like and then take it off just to know if I should order like a new one and it did make my lashes look longer I didn't film it or anything because I wanted to remove it from my lashes as quickly as possible, but it did make my lashes longer. It did have a little bit of that like spider lashes effect where I just sort of like clumped them together a little bit. It's not my favorite look, but it definitely made them longer. So with this one, I'm a little bit tempted to buy a new one sometime. Maybe next time I place a Sephora order, I'll get the mini again because I do want to try this out for a longer period of time but I don't feel comfortable with using a used mascara. Let me know if you have tried this, what you thought of it. I'm just so sad I can't use this because I was so excited to try this one. Now, a product I am actually very excited about is one from Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Face Plus Eye Bronzer Highlighting Palette. So now this is their like bigger limited edition bronzing palette that launched quite recently. I remember talking about this in a Will I Buy video and I said I really wanted to buy this because this is a great deal for what you're getting. You're getting five different bronzer shades and two highlighting shades and they say you can use these shades on the eye as well. So it's technically a bronzer and highlighting palette and let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the palette looks like. Again with this one just like the Patrick Top palette you immediately see fingerprints. And then the back you do see all the shades. So this is what the palette looks like. As you can see we have a gradient of bronzers from light to deep and then we have two highlighters. So these are the shades that are in here. This is called In The Sun. This is Private Island. This is Caramel Cutie. Coco Naughty and lastly Thick Mint. And then the lighter highlighter is called Fat Glass. 
And then the bottom highlighter is called Gold Card. Now, I actually really wanted to buy this because I haven't tried a Fenty Beauty bronzer before. And this was a great deal because I think this was around 44 euros and you're getting five different bronzer shades where normally one of the bronzers is around 33 euros, I think. So I thought this was a great deal. Now, I'm assuming there is less product in each pan than there would be in like their individual components, but I never go through a bronzer. I have a very hard time hitting pen on bronzer. So I know I probably won't go through these. So I thought for me this was a great deal since I'm able to try out different shades. Now these two I'm able to use as bronzers. This one maybe if I use a lighter hand, but these two are definitely too deep. So I like that you can use these on the eye. That's what I did today. I just created a very simple bronzy eye look. Now this eye doesn't look the best because I had tried that mascara there and then I removed it. So I had to like redo this part of my makeup and it didn't turn out the best, but I did like this on initial application. If you guys want me to do a like full review video on this palette and let me know because I do think this is a really nice palette even if you aren't a makeup artist since you're able to use these on the eyes as well I think it makes like a perfect travel palette because you have your bronzers and eyeshadows in like one palette and I did really like the quality of this highlighter was very creamy so I'm very happy with this purchase now one thing that was nice yesterday they had like a deal going on where you got 20% off some of their most popular brands so Fenty Beauty was included Tarte was included and a few more brands but from the products that I got I got 20% off my entire purchase which was very very nice so that Tarte mascara I got 20% off so it's not that bad that I wasted my money but still I wasted about like 10 euros so that's still a little bit sad but this palette I got with 20% off which was really nice then I have actually seen all the hype on the internet about the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Lip Conditioning Oil so of course I had to try it out for myself I saw this in store it was also 20% off and I was like let's just try it out because I've been very into lip oils this is what the packaging looks like just comes in like the classic Fenty Skin packaging and then here we have the actual lip oil I'm sure you guys have seen this many times on the internet because this has been so popular I've been seeing this everywhere for the most part I've seen a lot of positive reviews I did see some negative which were mostly about the scent of this because it does have a very strong cherry scent it definitely smells like candy, which I do like the smell, but it's definitely a little bit heavy. It just comes with this giant doe food, which I really like. And this is the gloss technically that I'm wearing today. I did find this more of a gloss than a lip oil. It is quite thick for a lip oil, so it does remind me a little bit more of a lip gloss, but it feels very conditioning, and I'm so excited to be trying this out for a longer period of time. So this is what it looks like swatched. As you can see, there isn't really a lot of pigment to it, but it's definitely a really nice lip oil. Feels really nice on the lips. And now I'm just wearing this with a bit of Pillow Talk lip liner, and I love how it feels. It's not sticky. It just feels very nice and moisturizing on the lips. So very happy with this Fenty Skin lip oil. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this one. And then the next product I bought was actually also from Fenty Beauty. I don't know why I bought so many Fenty Beauty things. It's just a brand I haven't tried a lot from. So I've been wanting to try more of their products. And this product that I got is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Geo. So this is their like popular highlighter geo that have been around for like a very long time. I think these launched years ago. I got this one in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which is like the lightest pinky one. There's also one Mean Money and Hustler Baby, which I was thinking to buy, but it was a little bit more gold than I thought it would be. So I went for this one since it's a little bit more of like a pinky toned highlighter. This is what the component looks like. It's just a sort of white iridescent packaging. And then the back just has the shades right there. Now, I actually thought this was a powder, but when I swatched it in store, it felt a lot more creamy than I thought it would. So it's definitely more of like a cream to powder, which I can also tell from the shelf life. This only has a nine month shelf life, which I only realized when I got home. So I'm hoping it's not going to expire like too soon. So this is what the shades Lightning Dust and the Fire Crystal look like. I'm wearing this today. Let me show you on this side. It's quite of an intense highlighter. It was a little bit more intense than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I still love highlighter. I know not everyone is a big highlight fan anymore, but I really enjoy highlighter. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Let me know if you have tried these Fenty Beauty highlighting geos, what you thought of it. So then those were the four products that I bought and I actually got a little gift, which was really nice. This is the Colorwow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. And this one I actually already own. As you can see, it's a very like metallic bottle, but basically what this does is you spray this on your hair before blow drying. And then when you like blow dry your hair very straight, it just makes it very sleek. 
So it says to blow dry each section using tension, dry your heat require to activate product. It says use every three to four shampoos. So this stays in your hair for a while. You need to reapply this after three or four shampoos. And then it just gives a sort of like coat to your hair where it feels very sleek. Now, like I said, I already have this and I have tried it a few times. I didn't see too much of a result. I definitely felt a little bit more soft, but I don't think I've sprayed enough. But since I only had a little bottle, I was like scared to use a lot of it but I think you need to spray quite a lot for this product to actually work so next time I'm going to use this I'm going to spray really a lot in my hair and see if it does make a difference but this mini is still quite expensive so it's nice that I got this for free as a little gift so let me know in the comment section what you thought of the products I bought at Sephora do you like them do you also have them or do you maybe not like them as much I would love to know your thoughts as well and if you did enjoy this video then I would absolutely love it if you gave the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos all of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you on my next video. Bye!